What's up everyone, welcome to the Durbin Compound. So in today's video, we're doing a special video for a viewer, Lane Frank, had brought it to my attention that I didn't show you guys exactly how to oil a foam filter. So today we are going to show you exactly how to oil a air filter. Um, this is going to be obviously on a chainsaw. We are going to foam, we are going to oil the foam filter on the 462. So my 462 has the West Coast Sol uh, air filter kit. Um, I've been running this for a, quite a few tanks, so it is nice and dirty. Um, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to clean the foam air filter. We're going to take it inside to the sink, and then we're going to clean this bad boy off because it is pretty gnarly. And then we're going to uh, put it in the bag and I'll show you guys how to oil it up. So let's go inside, let's clean this bad boy off and then we'll get down to oiling it back up. All right, now that we're inside, let's go ahead and clean this bad boy up. So I use uh, dish soap, you can use Dawn dish soap. This is some cheap uh, stuff from Radiance, but I literally just start soaking this thing and start getting the clumps of dirt off. So. Uh, most of the time, your large particles aren't going to go into the foam, um, so you don't have to worry about it uh, getting into the fibers of the foam. You just need to start um, you know, cleaning them off, just wiping them down. So obviously, it's an oiled filter, so it's definitely going to be a greasy mess. That's why I'm uh, doing this in the mop sink. So um, if you wanted to, some other times what I've done is take a paper towel and literally just wipe it down with a paper towel. And that will get some of that greasy, uh, oily type, um, you know, texture off of it. So you're not getting it all over your hands. But the best thing to cut the grease is obviously the dish soap. So just spread it around and then massage it in. So you're not gonna get it perfect, but there are some areas that are still still have some, some stuff in them. I just go ahead and do it again. All right, so the number one most important thing here is to make sure that you have this filter completely dry and free of water. So hold on a second. And once I get it completely squeezed out, you'll feel some water still come out. You can see I still have oil that stayed in the filter. Um, even after washing it and everything, it's still nice and blue. Um, it definitely still has some oil in it. But um, now that we've got it completely dried out, you can even blow it with air, air compressor if you want. If you wanna do that, you can. Um, you're just gonna make a mess with a pre-oiled filter like this. You're just gonna blow the oil everywhere. So um, I have already used this bag a couple times and it's got some excess oil in the bottom of it. So it's kind of nice that um, I've already done this a couple times with a couple different filters, a couple max flows, a couple times on this. So I have some oil built up here. So I don't necessarily need to add a bunch of oil, but if you're taking a completely, uh, a completely stock filter, or sorry, a brand new filter that has no oil in it, you're gonna put a decent amount of oil inside to the filter. So just keep that in mind that it's not going to be just a couple drops of oil that's gonna get this done. You're gonna need a lot. So just place the, the, uh, the filter in the bag. Um, this stuff gets sticky over time, so uh, you can, Reuse it if you want. If you don't want to, you can just, uh, you know, ch change out your bag every time, but it's just your oil that you're wasting. Now, I love Bel Ray foam oil. Um, this blue stuff, it's pretty awesome. Um, if you are starting with a new bag, you can literally just open the oil and then pour it in right on the filter. So, um, just like that, pour it right in on the filter and then just knead it inside the bag. So it keeps it pretty darn, um, you know, contained to the bag and you're not getting it all nasty and uh, you're not getting your hands dirty. That's why I like to do it in a, a Ziploc bag, it's cheap. So once you have 
once you have coated it pretty darn good, you might take it out and it might have a bunch of uh, really wet spots. You see those wet spots, the darker spots are where it's more uh, saturated. You can take it in the front of the bag and just splotch it out here or uh, take the bag and knead those little places in. So just like that. So you can just kind of scrape it off. Boom, and make it a little bit more even. Okay. Now, I always like to have a paper towel around because you obviously have to pull it out of the bag with your hand. So you are going to have some oil on the plastic uh, parts here. Uh, you definitely want to see that oil saturation there. We want to get rid of that. That's going to be too much oil for the filter. So what we'll do is squeeze that out. Um, while we're inside the bag. Now see I've touched it with both hands and I have it literally everywhere. So you know you're just trying to get even coverage and not too much oil in the filter. So we'll just go ahead and get some of this stuff moved around here. And I'll just do it by hand. Just make it all a giant mess. So we'll go ahead and clean up our little area in here that had a little bit too much oil in there. I'm literally pushing it back through the filter. Um, if you push hard enough, you can get it to drip. So you see how where my hands are, it starts to drip. So uh, you know, just move it around, make sure that it's evenly distributed throughout the filter, just like so. And then see my inside uh, area that was really wet is gone. So now I'm gonna wipe my hands off. I'm gonna wipe this plastic off here. If you reuse an old bag, um, the oil gets really, really sticky. It's not a game changer. Um, it's not that big of a deal. It just makes it a little bit harder to apply um, with it really sticky. Coming right out of the bottle, it's uh, pretty darn runny, so it makes it easier, but I just choose to not waste the oil that I have from here, and I like to just reuse the bag, so I put up with the stickiness. So. And that's it. Let's uh, go ahead and clean it the rest of the way off here. And now I have a nice oiled filter that's going back on the chainsaw. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That's a quick down and dirty video. Literally, it was down and dirty. And uh, we got the filter cleaned up. We are going to go ahead and reinstall it here, make sure everything's clean. And uh, that wraps up the video. I hope you guys liked today's content. Um, as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I highly recommend that you do. And uh, give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you stick around, well, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.